Ooh, spooky. Uh, please can we have a strawberry ghost ice cream? Right, we are open. Hi there, please can I have a strawberry ghost ice cream? Of course! One strawberry ghost ice cream! Uh, we don't have any ghost ice creams left. Oh, we need to get some then. I'll be back shortly. Let's go. Ah, oh, we got to pass a riddle to get in, don't we? Why do ghosts like riding elevators? Um, it raises their spirits? Correct, you may enter. Ooh, spooky. Uh, please can we have a strawberry ghost ice cream? Of course. Come on! Sorry, here's your ice cream. Oh, lovely! Hum, 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 hum. Hmm. Gordon was inside. That ice cream was spooktacular. Ah, next, please. Hello. Please may I have a blueberry ghost ice cream? You want a ghost ice cream too? Ah, hold on. God, I can't believe we have to go back already. What has webbed feet, feathers, fangs and goes quack quack? Uh, Count Duckula? Correct, you may enter. The ghost is gone. Please may we have a blueberry ghost ice cream? Why, of course! Ah! Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Where's my ice cream? Sorry, here you go. Mmm. <coughs> Lex Luthor was inside. Thanks, guys. That was fantastic. Next, please. Hello there. Hmm. Should I have a lemon ghost ice cream or popcorn? Hmm. Popcorn, 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 popcorn. I'll have lemon ghost ice cream, please. Ah, oh, what? Ah, oh, come on! I mean, good choice. Back in a minute. We really need to stock up on this ghost ice cream. What does a vampire never order in a restaurant? Uh, a steak sandwich? Aha! <laughs> I was thinking garlic bread, but yours is better. You may enter. Where is everyone? Oh look, that wasn't here earlier. Or that piano. Mm. Ah! Uh, please may we have a lemon ghost ice cream? Okay. Ah, oh, thanks. No problem. Are you still there? Sorry, sorry. Here's your ice cream. Mm. Raoul Saul was inside. Thanks, guys. That was terrific. Next, please. Hello. Some fries, please. 
Ah, a normal order, at last! Oh, and a mint ghost ice cream, please! Oh, come on! Everyone wants a ghost ice cream today! Gah. Last trip! What is it like to be kissed by a vampire? Um, it's a pain in the neck! Correct! You may enter! Where did the furniture and the piano go? I don't need them. I can't use them. I've got no arms. See? Good point. Um, please can we have a mint ghost ice cream? Of course! Uh, thanks. You're welcome. Hello, guys. Sorry, here's your ice cream. George was inside. Phew! What a day! Now we're closed. Uh, guys, I ordered fries too. Guys? Ugh. <sighs> I don't think I'm getting my fries. McQueen, Sally Carrera and Holly Shiftwell had invited some superheroes over to Radiator Springs. But it wasn't very exciting, so they were trying to think of something to do. We could have a foot race. No. That wouldn't be fair. You always win those, Flash. Fine. How about a flying race then? But most of us can't fly! Well, what else can we do? And then they heard... Huh? Who's that? Hello everyone! Ah, it's a funling! Need something to do? I've got just the thing. Ta-da! Welcome to my Daredevil Farthest Wins competition. In your vehicles, you'll launch out of the truck, past the swinging axe, past the boxing gloves, then the hanging ball, before hitting the flag and jumping off the ramp. And whoever goes the farthest, wins! I hope you all have your vehicles! So who's going first? It was Raphael. Oh dear, he didn't make it off the ramp. Oh well, Sally next. Well, she made it. Not very far though, but she's in the lead. McQueen now. Oh no, he didn't make it off the ramp either. Holly next. Oh no, she got caught by the axe. She's alright, but not in the lead. Spider-Man. Oh yes, he smashed the record, so he's in the lead now. It's the Flash. Wow, that was fast, and he's gone quite far. Hey, no superpowers, do it again. Uh-oh, you're in trouble, Flash. <laughs> Oh no, he hit the swinging axe! Oh dear! Batman next! Ooh, just squeezed through! Oh no, the boxing glove caught him! Ouch! Who's next? 
It's Captain America. Oh dear, not very far at all. Oh well, Iron Man. Yes, he's gone even further than Spider-Man. So he's in the lead now. Superman now. Ow, he couldn't move the hanging ball. So there's only one competitor left and it's Rex. Can he beat Iron Man? Yes, he can, but only just. And the winner is Rex. Well done. One day, Thomas was hanging out with two funlings. What was that? I think it came from that tunnel. Ah, a, a ghost. ghost! Look, there's a note. I'll get it. Phew! What does it say? Hmm. Ooh, it says find and rearrange all of the hidden letters lying around to spell out the name of the ghost. Ooh, a game! Sounds fun! Yeah! Let's look for these letters. See you soon, ghost! Letters, letters, where are you? Oh, stop! I see something. Is it a letter? No, it's a burger! Yum! Oh, I thought you'd seen the letter E, which is lying over there. Huh? Oh, yes! <laughs> How did we miss that? E, hmm, so the ghost has the letter E in their name. Spider-Man? Let's look for more letters. Letters, letters! Ooh, let's look up there, in that green dynamite hut. That track won't support me and a truck. I'll have a look myself. Hmm, no, can't see anything. Can you see any letters? Hmm, why? Why? Because we're trying to figure out who the ghost is. No, 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 no. The letter Y. We found it. So, E and Y. Your maybe? You can come down, Thomas. Let's find more letters. There's one in the water. I'll get it. Ah, it's the letter R. Hmm, R E Y. Ooh, Ray. Is it Ray from Star Wars? Oh, I hope so. Let's see if there's any letters in Radiator Springs. Any letters? Not that I can see. Oh, end of the line. No letters here. No, there must be something. Oh, yes, over there. It's on Flo's Cafe. <laughs> it's the letter N. Rain? Hmm, I have no idea now. More letters needed. Let's look at the beach. Hmm, can't see anything. 
I think I can, over on that island. Hmm, I'll take a look. Here's the letter H. Rain, uh huh? Oh. Well, that's all the letters. Let's see if we can work this out. Hello, ghost. Now, let's see. Rainer? No. Ernie? No. Renhi? No. Heyron? No. Ernie? No. <gasps> oh, I've got it. Look. Ta-da. It's Henry, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Let's see. Yes, it is Henry. Well done, guys. You worked as a team and figured it out. So the ghost was Henry and they had all had fun working it out together. Gordon has a very important job on Sodor. He pulls the express. Make way, express coming through. But one day, the fundlings were up to no good. <sighs> I'm bored. Hmm, oh, look, there's Gordon. Let's have some fun. <laughs> hey, Gordon. Sir Topham Hat wants to see you right away. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> what? Now? But I'm pulling the express. Um, he says to leave it behind. <laughs> yeah, nice one. <laughs> Very well. Oh, the indignity. And off he went. <laughs> we have the express. <laughs> Percy then arrived. Hi, Funlings. Oh, what is Gordon's Express doing here? Um, I don't know. But I think he wants you to pull it. Me? Really? I'd love to. So he left his trucks behind and took the Express. <laughs> Make way! Express coming through! Meanwhile, Gordon found Sir Topham Hat. Ah, hello Gordon. You wanted to see me, sir? Did I? Hmm, I don't remember asking. Who told you that? The Funlings. Hmm, looks like we need to pay those Funlings a little visit. And he hopped into Gordon, and off they went. Ha 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 ha! that was fun. Huh? Huh? <gasps> Uh-oh! It's Gordon! Quick! Hide! Funlings, we need to have a word. I think he can see us. Yes, I can see you. Why did you tell Gordon I wanted to see him? And where has his express gone? Um, Percy took it and left his trucks behind. Well, at least the express won't be late. I'm sorry, Gordon, but as Percy has the express, you'll have to take his trucks and do his job. Oh, the indignity. So Gordon coupled up to Percy's trucks, and off he went. He was very embarrassed. Now you two, no more messing about, understood? Uh, yes, sir. But this led to trouble the following day. James had broken down on a crossing. So his driver was warning everyone nearby not to come this way. Yep, yeah, no problem. Bye! Okay, no one is allowed past. James broke down. 
Unfortunately, Gordon wanted to pass through to pick up the express. Oh, hi Gordon. Sorry, James is broken down, so no one is allowed past. Really? Why should I believe you? And he steamed past them. Oh no, he's going to crash. And unfortunately, he did. Gordon was covered in chocolate. Gordon, didn't the Funlings tell you not to come this way? They did, but I didn't believe them. So both engines were put back on the track. James was then fixed so he could get on with his journey. And Gordon returned to the Funlings. <gasps> Gordon, are you alright? Oh yes, it's just a bit of chocolate. I'm sorry I didn't listen to you. And we're sorry for messing around yesterday too. No problem, let's just agree to be completely honest with each other. Yeah, of course. <laughs> uh oh, that sounds like... Tom Moss? What's he up to today? <laughs> Meanwhile, Thomas had a busy day. To start with, he was delivering some coal to Superman. He loaded it into his trucks and left. But someone was following him. Soon, Thomas had to stop at a signal, and that's when Tom Moss switched the trucks. And Thomas didn't notice. <laughs> Hi Superman, I have your coal here. Uh, Thomas, that's not coal. They're rocks! What? Oh no, I must have loaded the wrong ones. I'll be back in a second. And he rushed back to where Tom Moss had put his coal. Huh, the coal is still here. I must have loaded the wrong ones. So he unloaded the rocks and loaded the coal. He was very sure that he had the coal this time. But again, he had to stop at a signal. Tom struck again. OK Superman, I definitely have your coal now. Uh, no, they're still rocks, Thomas. What? That's impossible. I definitely loaded the coal that time. Oh, but I'm running late for my next job. Don't worry, I'll get Percy to deliver your coal. Sorry. Tom had enjoyed that, so he followed Thomas again. Thomas's next job was to deliver four trucks full of parcels. But Tom got there first and added some really heavy weights to each truck. <laughs> OK, time to deliver these. Come on. Oh. Wow, these trucks are much heavier than they look. Come on, trucks. Oh. Nope. Maybe it'll be easier if I push them. So Thomas left to turn around. But while he was turning around, Tom returned and took out the heavy weights. So the trucks were very light again. <laughs> but Thomas didn't know that. Whoa! Oh, 
Oh dear, I'm sure those trucks were heavier earlier. What a day I've had so far. <laughs> it took him a while, but Thomas cleared up the mess and delivered the parcels, and at the end of the day, he headed back to his shed. On the way, he stopped at a water tower. But it had been tampered with by Tom Moss. So no water came out of it. Ugh, oh, typical. But luckily... <laughs> oh, hi Thomas. Hi Funlings, please can you try and fix this water tower? Sure thing, Thomas. They tried fixing it, but Tom had a surprise for them. Yep, it's definitely broken. Ah, 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 oh, oh, so cold. Oh no, I wonder why that suddenly started working. <laughs> oh, it's Tom Moss. But before they could chase him, he was gone. Sorry guys, he must have been behind all of the strange things that have happened today. Don't worry Thomas, we'll catch Tom Moss soon. So Tom ran back to his tunnel. Until next time. <laughs>
We just don't seem to have the right parts. Oh, oh bother. Oh no. Oh, poor Paxton. The rumours soon began to spread. Everywhere Diesel went, engines seemed to always be talking about Paxton. Dennis, apparently Mavis heard that Paxton may have to be scrapped. Do you know what happened to him? How should I know what happened to him? Hello Diesel, did you hear about Paxton? Why is everyone blaming me for Paxton? I haven't done anything! Okay then. Later that day, Diesel quietly entered the Diesel Works to see Paxton from a distance. Oh Paxton, look at you. I'm sorry for bumping you this morning. I didn't mean to cause you any harm. Ah, oh, I really hope the Funlings manage to fix you soon. You're a good friend, Paxton, but I'm sure when this is all over, you won't want to be my friend anymore. And he left the diesel works. The next morning, Salty had some good news. Wake up everyone! Special delivery from the mainland! Paxton's part! Yes, we can finally fix Paxton! And soon, Paxton was feeling great again. Thank you, Den and Dart. I feel better than ever. Um, hello, Paxton. Oh, hello, Diesel. I'm glad to see you working again. I'm really sorry. Can we still be friends? Diesel, I want to be friends with you, but you must change your ways. No more bumping. And so now, whenever Diesel says hello to an engine, he doesn't bump them. Ooh, that's a pretty flower. Paxton! Hello Paxton. Hi Diesel. Maybe Diesel can make more friends, if he keeps this up. <laughs> Oi, Tom Moss! <laughs> I'll bump you back harder! <laughs> or maybe not. All of the engines on Sodor love Goldie, the good luck engine. When an engine needs a bit of good luck, Goldie uses his magic to help them out. But one day, the luck went missing. It was a really sunny day and Percy had just finished all of his jobs. Phew! What a lovely day! I could really do with an ice cream! But he was nowhere near an ice cream stand. Hmm, looks like I need a bit of good luck. Goldie? But Goldie didn't arrive. Thomas happened to be nearby. Hi Percy! Hi Thomas, have you seen Goldie? No, sorry, I haven't. Oh well, I'll try and find some ice cream then. Thomas was worried about Goldie. Nearby, James had just finished a big job and was looking for some coal. But... Oh no, I need more coal than that. Hmm, looks like I need a bit of good luck. Goldie! But Goldie didn't arrive. Thomas happened to be nearby. Hi James! Hi Thomas, have you seen Goldie? No, sorry, I haven't. Oh well, I'll try and find some coal then. Thomas was now really worried about Goldie. Also nearby was a really dirty Gordon who was late picking up an important passenger. <sighs> I'm late picking up the important passenger and I'm filthy. Hmm, looks like I need a bit of good luck. Goldie! But Goldie didn't arrive. Thomas happened to be nearby. Hi Gordon. 
Hi Thomas, have you seen Goldie? No, sorry, I haven't. Oh well, I guess I'll have to pick up the important passenger looking like this. What has happened to Goldie? Two fundings arrived. Hi Thomas! Hi guys, nobody knows where Goldie is. Oh no, we've got to find him! Well, I have an idea where he might be. Come on, let's find him. So the Funlings hopped in a truck and Thomas took them to where he thought Goldie would be. The mine where they originally found him. Goldie! Goldie, are you alright? Thomas, I'm exhausted. Everyone is asking for my help and I'm trying to help them but too many engines are asking for too much. I can't help them all. Oh no, don't worry, we can help you out. Really? Oh, thank you. Yeah, we can help out some engines and remind everyone to only ask for your help when they really need it. Come on guys. Okay, I'll help out Percy and James and you guys wash Gordon, okay? Okay. Yay. Thomas found Percy first. Here you are Percy, I've got some ice cream for you, brought to you on Goldie's behalf. Oh thank you Thomas. Now don't forget to only ask for Goldie's help when you really need it. Yes, I understand. Good. And off Thomas went. Nearby, the Funlings were waiting for Gordon. Hi Gordon, want a wash? Oh yes, please. He's a bit dirtier than I thought he'd be. Come on, we're doing this for Goldie. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's clean you up. And soon enough, Gordon was spotless. There. Thank you, Funlings. Now don't forget to only ask for Goldie's help when you really need it. Yes, I understand. Now I need to pick up my passenger. And finally, Thomas brought James coal. Oh, thank you, Thomas. No problem, James. And don't forget to only ask for Goldie's help when you really need it. I understand. So James filled up with coal. A clean Gordon picked up the important passenger. And Percy had some ice cream. Job well done. Goldie arrived. Thanks for the help today, guys. I'm feeling much more refreshed now. No problem, Goldie. Glad you're feeling better. So thanks to Thomas and the Funlings, Goldie's magic will now be used more responsibly. <laughs> <laughs>